Good afternoon. It is partway through Monday, and I am thrilled to be joined here by Katie Curtis and Mitchell Anderson. Katie and Mitchell are two new members of the Denominational Council, which was chosen or affirmed last night by a vote of the General Council Court. So welcome, Katie. Welcome, Mitchell. Thanks for taking the time to chat with me today, and congratulations. It's a really exciting thing to be part of, this next stage in the life of the church and this next body of church governance. So thank you. So my first question for you is I want to know, why did you decide to put your name forward or allow your name to be put forward to serve on the denominational council? Mitchell? Saskatchewan Conference uh, approached me and they were very dedicated to ensuring that the nominations committee had a diverse pool of that included young people and people from underrepresented communities and um, really made a real effort to offer that to the church. And it felt okay for you when, when they approached you? You were like, this feels like something within your sense of call? I wanted to trust the church processes, that wise people would pick a good executive, and they seem to have picked me. Awesome. Awesome. Now, Katie, you're also from Saskatchewan Conference, and you two are the two under 30 representatives on the Denominational Council. Um, what about you, Katie? Why, why did you allow your name to be put forward for this, for this role? I think for me, it's an exciting time in the church, all this change that's happening, uh, the new structure coming through. And so I was looking for ways to uh, be part of the church other than youth ministry, which is usually what I've been part of. And this just seemed like a good opportunity to branch out, to be part of the exciting change that's happening and to offer those skills and talents to the executive. Fantastic. And so as you look forward to being part of this new body, what are you most excited about? What kind of gets you sparked the most? Uh, I'm excited to sweep away old structures that were designed for another time and to try to create structures that are nimble and agile and fit for purpose that are focused on uh, supporting the mission of God and I'm really excited to be part of that work. What about you? Similar, I'm excited uh, to create a new this structure and see what it's going to look like and how people are going to live into it and I think I'm excited that the executive is a representation of the diversity of our church and how amazing that is that all of those people are going to come together to make decisions and lead kind of this new path of our church. Absolutely. And in terms of not only your hopes for the denominational council, but what about your hopes for the church? What, as we enter into this new phase in our life, although, you know, as many have commented throughout our gathering, the, even the past few days, it's a space that God is already working. God is already at work. So, you know, it's, it's our call to just continue to live into it. And as we do that, what are you most hopeful about for the future of the United Church of Canada? I am hopeful that we will be a church that embraces our commitment to being intercultural, that takes serious our commitments to reconciliation, uh, that uh, really fosters disciples of Jesus Christ in every part of this country to uh, participate in the mission of God. And Katie? Ditto. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> I guess I, I was going to say too, like I yesterday in one of our listening sessions, uh, Graham said to us that God is as close as the breath that you breathe right now in this whole process. And so I'm hopeful that the people of our church and the communities in our church can know that. And that although it's scary and maybe daunting and there's going to be trial and error, there's also going to be beauty and joy and that God is in all of that. And I'm just hopeful that people can journey together through that and that the executive can be a place where voices can be heard for the decisions that are going to help put this new structure into place. Fantastic. Well, I'm thrilled that both of you have allowed your names to stand for this really exciting, really important role of leadership in the future of the church. So thank you. Thank you. And thank you for taking the time to talk with me today and blessings on the rest of your time here at General Council. Thanks so much. We'll be back with more for you from General Council 43 later today.